We still have a lot of questions about what exactly happened here, but these documents shed a much brighter light on the steps investigators took and what exactly Lester and Yaw said to police. In them, we found step-by-step -step detail of the investigation that followed Thursday night's shooting. Officers initially found Ralph Yaw in the street being treated by medics. They found Andrew Lester standing in his home. Officers noted the shattered storm door and blood on the front porch and driveway. The probable cause statement shows PD searched Lester's home and found a loaded 32 caliber revolver in the front living room chair with two spent casings in the cylinder. Lester had cameras installed, but when investigators removed the system's hard drive and checked it, they found it hadn't been working for almost a year. That brings us to witness statements in Lester and Yaw's official interviews, which have two key differences. While he was at KCPD headquarters on April 13th, Lester told police he answered the door, gun in hand. He says he opened the front door and saw Yaw pulling on the storm door's handle. He says no words were exchanged before he shot twice through the glass, hitting Yaw in the forehead and right arm. According to his statement, he was scared to death and due to his age, could not take the chance of the male coming in. The document adds he was visibly upset and repeatedly expressed concern for the victim. He was then taken from here to East Patrol where he was booked and fingerprinted. After consulting with Clay County prosecutors, Police released him. But that differs from Yaw's account. He was interviewed in the hospital a day later. Yaw says he didn't pull on the handle, that he pressed the doorbell and waited outside. He says he waited a long time before Lester finally opened the door with a gun in his hand and shot him in the head. He told police Lester said, don't come around here. In Kansas City, Grant Stevens, KSHB 41 News.